He spoke, but without speaking. In just a few sentences, Elon Musk managed to light a spark in the automotive industry that could turn into a blaze. Without ever mentioning the name aluminum ion battery, he dropped carefully chosen words like scalability, low cost per kilowatt hour, and extremely high reliability. For those who closely follow Tesla's behind the scenes, these words sounded almost like a disguised official announcement. And when Elon talks about reaching mass production safely and efficiently, it's no exaggeration to believe that the most anticipated battery of the decade is about to become a reality. Judging by the confident tone, everything indicates that the internal tests were more than successful. Behind this advancement lies a behind-the-scenes engineering process that most people don't even realize. Tesla not only developed some of this technology internally, but also made strategic acquisitions in recent years, buying companies specializing in advanced anodes, dry electrodes, and ultra-fast charging chemistry. These seemingly loose pieces now fit together into a puzzle that points to only one thing, the arrival of a new generation of batteries. And the most intriguing thing is that, while other automakers are still struggling with incremental improvements, Tesla appears to have made a category leap. And what makes all this even more interesting is the timing. In 2026, Tesla is about to launch the Model 2, an electric car that promises to cost just 15 times 1990s. A promise like that only makes sense if something big is happening under the hood, or rather, inside the battery pack. And now we know that the centerpiece of this plan may very well be the aluminum ion battery, a cheaper, faster, more durable, and absurdly safer battery. It's hard not to think that we're on the cusp of what could be the definitive turning point for electric vehicles. Elon Musk is often enigmatic, but he's not one to mince words. When he says that the hard part has been done over the past few years, he's not just celebrating an achievement. He's laying the groundwork for something bigger. And this is affecting everyone, suppliers, competitors, and even investors who have already understood that dominance in the next decade will be decided by whoever controls the batteries of the future. And Tesla, once again, seems to have come out on top. The mood now is one of hushed, almost tense expectation, as if something were about to be revealed at any moment. Signs are everywhere. In the expansion of gigafactories, in rumors of contracts with aluminum suppliers, in leaked data pointing to absurdly long charging cycles and operating temperatures no lithium battery could withstand. Tesla is clearly positioning itself to turn the tables. And the most important detail? It's doing so with a chemistry that practically everyone underestimated. While the market was discussing sodium, magnesium, or even graphene, Elon Musk was betting on good old aluminum, but with a futuristic twist. While the market's eyes are still trying to decipher Musk's signals, the numbers speak volumes and are almost unbelievable. A 60 kWh pack, which currently costs around $7,800 in lithium-ion cells, could be produced for just $3,900 using the new aluminum chemistry. We're talking about a savings of nearly $4,000 per vehicle, giving Tesla a huge margin to reduce prices, include additional technologies, or simply crush the competition. And all this without relying on marginal reductions or risky safety cuts. It's a paradigm shift, the likes of which you don't see every day. But cost isn't the only reason this new battery is keeping competitors awake at night. Recharging time, for example, is so fast it seems like science fiction. Less than five minutes to reach a full charge. This completely transforms the driver experience. A quick stop for coffee or a grocery run will be enough to leave with a nearly full battery. It's the kind of advantage that erases one of the biggest criticisms of electric cars, waiting time. With this, the concept of range anxiety could become a thing of the past. And when it comes to durability, aluminum ion seems to be in a different league. While lithium batteries begin to lose performance after 2500 to 3000 cycles, Tesla's new battery promises over 10,000 cycles 
with up to 95% capacity retention. Translating this into real-life scenarios, we're talking about a battery that could last between 25 and 30 years, or over 2 million kilometers. It's such an above-average estimate that it raises a curious question. Will the car outlast the owner? If this is true, the logic of resale and maintenance in the automotive industry will have to be reinvented. Beyond economy and speed comes the issue that most concerns consumers and regulators. Safety. Lithium batteries are, by nature, flammable. They rely on volatile electrolytes and, when impacted or overheated, can undergo thermal collapse, that notorious risk of catching fire. Aluminum ion batteries, on the other hand, virtually eliminate this risk thanks to a more stable internal structure and the use of non-flammable electrolytes. This means a car with this battery can be safer to keep in the garage, indoors, or even in extreme temperatures. Another point that cannot be ignored is infrastructure. Tesla's current supercharger system is already the most efficient in the world, but even it has limits when it comes to charging time and the number of cars served per station. With a battery that recharges in five minutes, the volume of vehicles served per day could increase fivefold or even tenfold. This drastically reduces the cost per station, shortens queues, and paves the way for much faster expansion. Instead of building more chargers, Tesla could simply make the current ones much more efficient. The plan becomes even clearer when you look at where Tesla intends to apply this new battery first. And no, it won't be in a luxury model or some limited collector's edition. The target is exactly the opposite. The Model 2, the brand's entry-level car, which promises to hit the market for an incredible 159990 That's where it all makes sense. To reach this price point and still make a profit, Tesla needs a battery that's cheaper, more durable, and much easier to mass produce. Aluminum ion, with all its benefits, seems tailor-made for this mission. It's no coincidence that the Model 2 has become the center of attention. It represents more than a new car. It represents a change in scale. While the Model 3 and Model Y paved the way for electric cars to become mainstream, the Model 2 aims to take them to the level of total democratization. And to achieve this, it's impossible to rely on a traditional battery. Aluminum ion is the missing key to making this plan financially viable. And if this battery's performance holds up on the road as it does in the lab, we're talking about the world's first truly affordable and efficient electric car. But Tesla isn't thinking small. Besides the Model 2, another quiet project has been gaining momentum within the company, the humanoid robot Optimus. For those who've been following Elon Musk for a while, you already know that the robot project isn't just marketing hype. It's part of a larger vision that involves domestic, industrial, and care robots. And for Optimus to operate with autonomy, thermal stability, and long maintenance-free operating cycles, it needs a battery that can handle the stress. Exactly the profile of aluminum ion. Small, light, safe, and with ultra-fast charging. Now imagine a robot capable of operating for days without needing to recharge, working in environments ranging from sweltering industrial warehouses to refrigerated medical centers. This would only be possible with a power source that doesn't overheat, doesn't require constant recharging, and has a fail-safe life cycle. And most fascinatingly, the same battery that powers a car could be at the heart of an intelligent robot. The synergy between Tesla's areas is evident, and this reveals the true value of mastering this new chemistry. But it doesn't stop there. Rumors are circulating strongly in industry circles that Tesla is also developing a cutting-edge electric wheelchair project. Nothing has been officially confirmed, but some prototypes have been seen with components very similar to those used in early aluminum-ion battery models. If this application is real, it will be a quiet but powerful revolution. A personal mobility device that charges in minutes, doesn't overheat, and can last for decades could completely transform the lives of millions of people around the world. What's really starting to worry the competition 
is the battery's performance under real-world conditions. Even in the first field tests, the results were impressive. 95% capacity retention after 10,000 complete charge and discharge cycles. Translated into English, this would be like recharging your car every day for almost 30 years without noticing any significant loss in performance. And even in extreme situations, like the intense heat of Arizona or the freezing cold of Minnesota, the battery proved incredibly stable, operating between 40 degrees C and 200 degrees C without noticeable functional degradation. And there's more. Energy density is another turning point. While traditional lithium-ion batteries offer anywhere from 250 to 700 Dodwood-Wacher liter, the aluminum-ion models designed by Tesla can reach 1,300 Dodwood-Wacher liter. This means more energy in less space. The impact? Lighter, more agile vehicles with greater range, even with reduced dimensions. In the Model 2, for example, this density could enable a range exceeding 300 miles with a smaller and cheaper battery than the one currently used in the Model 3. And this energy efficiency also directly impacts the user experience. Lower weight means less tire wear, less braking effort, and lower overall fuel consumption. And because the battery generates less heat, there's less need for cumbersome cooling systems, further reducing weight, and freeing up interior space for smarter design and comfort. The sum of all these improvements makes the car simpler, cheaper to maintain, and much more enjoyable to drive. Now think about what this means for the future of Tesla's fleet. Vehicles with lighter components, motors that don't need to compensate for the weight of a gigantic pack, chassis optimized for aerodynamic performance and comfort, and all this with a battery that lasts three, four, even five times longer than current ones. The math changes, and when battery life exceeds the lifespan of other components, unprecedented possibilities emerge, such as vehicles with 25-year battery warranties, or even systems for reselling recycled packs to other sectors, such as residential storage. In fact, this is another interesting point. The ability to operate reliably in extreme temperatures means the aluminum ion battery has direct applications outside the automotive sector. In regions like northern Canada or inland Australia, where temperature variations are brutal, the new battery could be a game changer for solar power systems, emergency backups, and even military or scientific equipment. By mastering this technology, Tesla could become a leader not only in cars, but also in decentralized energy solutions for a wide range of contexts. There's also a detail that seems technical at first glance, but in practice completely changes the game. The new battery no longer needs to be replaced during the vehicle's lifetime. And this, of course, created an unexpected paradox within Tesla itself, the so-called immortal battery paradox. If the battery will last 25, 30, or even 40 years, what happens to the car's other systems that still undergo normal wear and tear? auxiliary motors, cooling systems, seals, software, and even the bodywork itself, all of which can fail before the battery shows any sign of fatigue. To address this, Tesla has developed something ingenious, a battery health app powered by artificial intelligence. It monitors 847 sensors throughout the system in real time, analyzing thermal variations, voltage fluctuations, and charging and discharging patterns. But it's not just a pretty dashboard. The app predicts failures before they happen, with alerts that indicate, for example, that an auxiliary pump may stop working in the coming weeks, or that an abnormal charging cycle indicates an imminent problem with a module. It's the kind of predictive technology that, until recently, seemed like the stuff of science fiction. The impact of this is enormous, Instead of fixing a problem after it appears, the owner can act earlier, more cheaply, quickly, and safely. This reduces maintenance costs by up to 20%, according to Tesla's own internal tests. And most interestingly, the more the car is used, the smarter the system becomes. It learns from individual usage patterns, adjusts the ideal charging rate, suggests more efficient charging times and conditions, and avoids unnecessary wear and tear. 
It's as if the car adapts to the owner's lifestyle. The app also helps circumvent another silent problem, involuntary negligence. Many people simply forget to check details like the health of the cooling system or the condition of the charging cables. With smart notifications and simple visuals, like color codes and intuitive graphics, the app makes maintenance natural, accessible, and almost automatic. This reduces unpleasant surprises, like that warning light that suddenly comes on in the middle of the road and increases the average consumer's confidence in their car's longevity. What's more, Tesla isn't using this system just to maintain the battery. The app also monitors the health of components like the inverter, motor, climate control system, and even the condition of gaskets. All of this is based on continuous data and a growing database, fueled by millions of miles driven by users themselves. The goal, according to engineers involved in the project, is simple. To make maintenance as predictable as an oil change in a combustion engine car, or even more so. But what's truly impressive about this strategy is the scale Tesla is planning to achieve with all of this. The announced goal is bold. 2 million Model 2 units per year by 2028. For any traditional automaker, this would be ambitious enough. But when you're talking about an electric car with a revolutionary battery, aggressive pricing, and a mass market focus, the challenge takes on a whole new dimension. Even so, the first steps are already being taken. The initial production run of 50,000 units will serve as a sort of practical test in different regions of the United States, where Tesla intends to evaluate the aluminum ion performance under real-world conditions. These tests go far beyond simply verifying range. The idea is to put the Model 2 through its paces in different climates, altitudes, terrain types, and driving styles, from the scorching heat of Texas to the bitter cold of Michigan. All this to refine the battery's final adjustments before scaling to millions of units. This initial phase is strategic, as it allows for the identification of production bottlenecks and adjustments, the prediction of possible premature wear, and even the anticipation of future software updates. It's as if Tesla were rehearsing before its debut on the world's biggest stage. The key to the viability of this mass production lies in the battery's cost. According to recent estimates, the aluminum ion battery pack that will power the Model 2 will cost just $2,150 per unit, practically half the price of the current battery pack used in the Model 3, which hovers around $4,450. This drastic reduction allows Tesla to deliver an electric car with a similar price tag to combustion engine vehicles like the Toyota Corolla or Honda Civic, but with superior performance, zero emissions, and near zero maintenance costs. It's hard to imagine a more competitive proposition. And this per unit savings also translates into an opportunity to completely restructure the production chain. With a 60% lighter package and abundant materials like aluminum, the assembly line can be more agile, consume less energy, and generate less waste. This means that, unlike traditional factories that require constant adaptations for new models, Tesla's Giga factories are being optimized from the ground up for this type of modular production. A car that's simpler to assemble, lighter, and with fewer critical parts results in fewer logistical bottlenecks and greater scalability. Another factor that favors this expansion is the battery's thermal robustness. With safe operation from 40 baudenbergs to 140 drudgers, Tesla eliminates the need for multiple hardware variations for different markets. This means the same Model 2 can be mass-produced 